DDR back this afternoon. Uh, did some work yesterday. I uh, see this morning. I uh, came down and soldered the other end of the siding and main. So now we got the paint cans out after lunch. Get rid of that brown. I have to go over, tape it off, and get the airbrush out again. Put some brown down. Got some overlap using foam brush. So here's some cloud stuff I've been doing. You can pan out a little bit. Get a better view of the overall thing. So at the bottom, where I had the brown, should be able to see where we did it, but put all these new white clouds down there, even way back in the corner. Got some jet contrails, because I like those. And then uh, that's all to the southwest. So then all along here is where the brown was at the bottom, you know, overspray. Look at that right there. That kind of looks like a thunderhead in the far distance coming up through the uh, cloud base out there. Sort of. <laughs> it's fuzzy, but you pull back and look at that. Looks like Thunderhead trying to come up cumulus. And we come down here, a bunch of contrails up here. Some turning, coming up from the southeast, turning west. So oh, pretty cool. I got some blue. I got a, so I had to tape off the blue wall and then spray paint straight down with the brown. Cover that back up again before I put turf or whatever in there so it won't show through. There we go. So we're going to do some run buys. Put everything back in place where it was. I've been having fun moving trains. I had to move them out of the way to solder. Then I had to move them the reverse way to do the painting. Just having fun doing that. Hope you guys enjoyed my Bowling Green Rail Fan Depot, Rail Park Depot shots. I got a bunch of photos I want to make into a video. All about time. Shove him back down the main. Get him back clear the road. But I think it looks a lot better back there now. Nice summery day, clear sky. Go ahead and shut him down. And we'll put him back in the siding. Little local. He's going to have a couple new cars here in about a week. Had trouble ordered one. They came back and refunded me today without explanation. So I had an email and said, what's going on? Out of stock. Computer showed it was there, but it wasn't. 
So I found it somewhere else cheaper. About 10 bucks cheaper from model train stuff, which was a surprise. Only problem with them, $15 shipping and takes about two weeks to get them 10 days. For Midwest, I can get it in about three days for about eight bucks shipping. Now I got some more dirt now. I think we even got paint on there. His wheels are dirty. I've been running him everywhere. He's a tester all the time. I like my new sky. I didn't have all those white clouds at the bottom before. Just some of it. it took me about 10 minutes. Put blue down, then come over with white right away. Within a couple minutes, it's already dry. Dry brush it on with foam brush. Okay, and there we go. He's set up for crew change, where he can leave it there all night, which is probably what's going to happen. Okay, guys, hope you're having a great week. Uh, middle of the week already. We traveled and got home from Tennessee on, well, from LaGrange, LaGrange, Kentucky, Monday, Monday afternoon. Now it's coffee time. I'm working on videos, working on a layout, cooling down outside. It was like 72 out there this morning. Feels great. Down to 68 in a house last night without the air. Pretty good. All my purple martins are gone. They went away while we were gone. Off to the big roost. Take care. God bless. Have a great afternoon, week. What's left of it? Weekend coming up. DDR out.